many people who learn a martial art simply want to develop self-defense skills and fighting techniques. But did you know that martial arts can also improve your physical agility, increase your inner energy, and provide self-discipline and self-confidence? If that sounds intriguing, then you'll want to learn about Kuk Sul Wan, a martial arts system that can help you meet all those goals and more. Perhaps you've heard of Judo, Aikido, or Taekwondo. All these are martial arts styles. Kuk Sul Wan is a little different. It's a comprehensive system that takes in the entire spectrum of Korean martial arts. As a complete, well-organized system, Kuk Sul Wan integrates and explores many different martial arts styles. Kuk Sul Wan encompasses traditional Asian fighting arts, body conditioning techniques, mental development, and traditional weapons training. For example, Students of Kuk Sul Wan learn hand striking techniques using closed and open hand striking, as well as palm, fist, wrist, and finger striking methods, and pressure point striking using the arms and shoulders, blocking and parrying are also studied in depth. Specialized hand training helps in developing these skills. Leg techniques include foundational kicks, spinning kicks, jumping kicks, combination kicks, double leg kicks, pressure point kicking, and specialty kicks. Throwing and grappling methods include body throws, projection throws, leg throws, pressure point grappling, grappling defense, wrestling techniques, and ground fighting. Joint locking techniques are physical restraining methods. They include joint breaking, combination joint locking, control and redirection techniques, arresting, and pain compliance techniques. Falling techniques and acrobatics help students achieve agility and body conditioning. In addition, they are used as defensive and offensive techniques. Body conditioning, or mom pool key, encompasses overall stretching and flexibility, cardiovascular conditioning, muscle toning, ligament and tendon strengthening, and joint flexibility and conditioning. Animal style techniques are also taught. They are based on the movements and characteristics of certain martial animals, such as tiger, praying mantis, crane, dragon, snake, bear, and eagle. Traditional Korean weapons include different types of swords, various staffs, the jul bong or pointed staff, as well as the spear, cane, rope, Fan, and bow and arrow. All told, there are 24 different traditional Korean royal court weapons in the curriculum of Kuk Sul Wan. Meditation and breathing techniques focus on various breath control techniques, meditation, breathing postures, and concentration techniques. Ki is the Korean term for the inner energy that is the source of internal power. Ki is closely related to breathing and blood circulation. For this reason, Ki breathing exercises are the foundation of internal Kuk Sul Wan training. To become a proficient martial artist, one must develop ki through meditation and special ki breathing exercises.
Mambul Ki is a set of body conditioning exercises practiced in Kuk Sul. These exercises are designed to move each of the 164 joints in the body through their full range of motion. The goal of Mumpul Ki is not only to stretch the muscles and improve flexibility, even more important, these exercises condition the muscles, tendons, ligaments, and joints for performing specialized martial arts movements. For example, kicks require certain muscles to be relaxed in order to achieve full extension of the kick. Mambul Ki helps the muscles achieve the appropriate state of tension or relaxation for martial arts practice. If you have other goals, such as increasing strength or flexibility, you may want to supplement Mambul Ki with additional exercises. Mambul Ki can be practiced anywhere, not just at the Dojang or martial arts school. You can do these beneficial exercises at home or at work. For example, you can do neck stretching exercises at the office or leg stretching exercises while watching television at home. Because Kuk Sul Wan is a traditional Korean martial art, etiquette plays a very important role. Following the rules of etiquette develops character and self-control, essential prerequisites to advanced martial arts training. Proper etiquette demonstrates respect for the art, for one's instructors, and for fellow students. In fact, etiquette is the first section of the Kuk Sul Wan progress chart and the single most important requirement to be eligible for further Kuksul training. Bowing is one of the most visible demonstrations of martial arts etiquette. Beginning students may misunderstand the concept of bowing because we have little experience with bowing in Western cultures. Often, we associate bowing with a form of worship or with subservience or an admission of inferiority. For this reason, the Western mind often reacts to the idea of bowing with ambivalent or even completely negative feelings. In the East, however, the bow is not a sign of subservience at all, but one of respect. Often a bow is simply a method of greeting. In many ways, the Asian bow is similar to the Western handshake or a military salute. Kuk Sul Wan offers a wide variety of classes designed for different levels and different needs. The Black Belt class teaches all required forms, movements, and techniques that students must master to progress through the belt levels. These levels are designated by color. White, yellow, blue, red, brown, and black. Students are tested at each level to ensure they have mastered all the techniques required to achieve the Black Belt level. Youth classes are exciting lessons designed for the unique needs of younger martial arts students. Students receive individual attention based on their abilities, needs, and learning levels. Tremendous emphasis is placed on respect, dedication, hard work, and having fun while learning. Each lesson reinforces respect for one's family, school, and country, as well as Kuk Sul. Safety, a priority in all classes, is a vital concern in the youth class. Kuksul Wan also offers private instruction for youths or adults who want an individualized program. Private instruction may be appropriate when a student does not feel comfortable in a regular class with others. Some students have physical limitations that require special attention or modification when performing certain techniques or forms. Others simply wish to receive lessons in their own homes. Most students who take private instruction are seeking direct one-on-one -on -one teaching that provides more interaction with the instructor. Private lessons are more intense and faster paced and enable students to achieve more refined techniques. Ladies classes are available for women who prefer to be in a group of women only. Instruction is customized for women's physiology and includes self-defense techniques. Self-defense classes focus on helping students learn to identify threatening situations and develop skills to protect themselves in a physical attack.
Earlier you heard that Kuk Sul Wan is a comprehensive martial arts system. It is not limited to any particular martial arts style, but includes many different styles within its broad scope. While Kuk Sul Wan may contain elements of other styles of martial arts, it goes far beyond the ranges of these styles. Kuk Sul Wan is concerned with more than physical methods of attack and defense. The study of healing techniques, development of internal power, and physical conditioning are equally important. Training in Kuk Sul Wan helps to instill self-confidence, self-discipline, and the calm self-assurance traditionally associated with the martial character.